All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Jason Hutagalung. Uh, you can call it a rant, you can call it whatever the fuck you want. But uh, today we're going to talk about some sticky subject. I'm going to call the subject that we're going to talk now, I'm going to call it Get Rich or Die Fucking Trying. Ah, uh, I know it's not very original, isn't it? It's coming from a song. I mean, it's a music album by, uh, sorry, by, uh, by his name, by uh, 50 Cent himself. But we'll talk about how to get rich. Now, lately, for the last a few months, or for the last six months, I think, almost, I've been watching this uh, event, the drama and fourth, in Indonesian uh, system. Now, this is what's happening. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You want to kiss? Come here, come, come. On. Sorry, this little guy just want to have some affection. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Anyway, look at the TV. Phone. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he slipped me in my mouth. Anyway, there we go. This is Judas. His name Judas. Uh, he is the third disciple of the Jesus Christ. His name Judas. So, uh, Judas, are you gonna let me talk about human character and the human nature? Okay. So there's my time. I want to talk about this one today. No, it's not yours. It's mine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today. I'm gonna do it in English. A story about how people got rich and the money in my country. I will talk about this person. She is a SJW. You can see that by the hair. Hang on, let me put him on. Uh, yeah, voila. There you go. Talk about this our lady here, Irma Huta Barat. Irma Huta Barat. She is still related by the last name with me, which is funny. But uh, today, I'm going to expose uh, who is this person actually. Uh, I know, 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 I know. It's a nasty of me to talk about her. But uh, the truth is, we can't just help this uh, situation left and turn, okay? So, without further ado, let me tell you the story about Irma. She's a social justice warrior for uh, the murder of the Brigadier Joshua Uta Barat. That's right. Still the same last name again. Uh, it's a big clan of us from the Batak tribes in Indonesia. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's Batak. I'm a Batak too. Now, this is what I'm gonna tell. Come on, man. Come here. Give me a kiss, then. All right. Come here. Sorry, guys. This. Anyway. Uh, what? You wanna talk something? You wanna say something in the fucking camera? Hmm. He's a big head. He is a big head dog. Hey, eh? come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, stop licking me. I don't like it. We are boys. Anyway, we'll talk about Irma Huta Barat. So let me go to the special sticky subject that I'm talking about. I know it's not a nice thing to talk about. Leputan6.com, Jakarta. Director of the Institute of Civic Education on Indonesia, Irma Huta Barat has officially become a suspect in the case of embezz embezzlement of 4.2 billion rupiah in flats pound. Irma's, Irma was summoned as a suspect, has been sent directly to the to her residence. Oh, hang on. Irma Summons, oh yeah, Irma Summons as a suspect has been sent directly 
to a resident, said the head of the Metro Jaya Regional Police Information Service, Senior Commission of Police Anton Bahrul Alam, as Friday 6 of the 9. Anton hopes that Irma will be able to attend Paul the Metro Jaya and next Monday. Meanwhile, the reason the police name Irma, who is also the founder of Indonesian Corruption Watch. Listen to this. How crazy, how crazy. How is that? How crazy is this? Huh? Indonesian Corruption Watch, or ICW. As a suspect, according to Anton, was based on evidence showing that the presenter of Metro TV Today Dialogues knew the flow of these funds. Hmm, who's Anton in here now? Let me just keep reading. The day before, Hendrawan, the treasurer of the non-governmental governmental organization engaged in education, was also named as a suspect. Hendrawan is now huddled in the Polymetro Jaya detention center. This is not really a detention center, it's basically like a prison, yeah? Like, yeah, but like, reminding, reminder, reminding. I mean, not remind. Uh, reminded, reminded, yeah, reminded. Polymetro Jaya. Hendrawan is a suspect of having embezzled money to pay the employee of N NGO. Their report stating that the funds were used to help the teacher was considered by the police to be a lie. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That is a big thing. Come here, come here, come here. You hear that, Judas? They talk about the people that swindle money. Embezzlement. 4.2 billion in rupiah. That's a lot of fucking money. The day before Hendrawan, the treasurer of the non-government organization engaged in education, was also named the suspect. This case involve, involving Irma was revealed after the coordinator of government watch, or I saw it, Goa, Farid al -Faki, is another Arab, disclosed irregularities, irregularities in the management of 0.2 billion in funds managed by ICE on Indonesian for education wait come here for educational scholarship for flat victim hmm well, come on just sit down bud stop licking me I don't like being licked sit sit down sit 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 now the case involving Irma, the case involving Irma was revealed after the coordinate Hang on a second. My God, it's not that fucking. Hang on. Judas, you just sit down, man. You're annoying me now, okay? So there you have it. Okay, the case in Paul involving Irma was revealed after the coordinator the government of government watch Goa. But a fact it is closed. Close irregularity, irregularities in the management of point of the 4.2 billion rupiah in funds managed by the ICE on Indonesian for educational scholarship for flat victims. Oh, here we go. So basically, it's like you know these people, some shit happened to them, and other people just taking advantage out of it. It's a case of misappropriating on the flood management. The funds were obtained from the uh, flood care night in night event in Anchol. Oh, some time ago. The distribution of the funds were then handed over to the governor of DKI, special region of Indonesia. Uh, well, capital city in Indonesia. So the also to ICE on Indonesia last May the second. I don't really remember what the year of this one because I am I haven't been in Indonesia for that long. But uh seeing this whole the whole situation seeing the whole situation 
Ah, uh, it's pretty packed, isn't it? I mean, teacher in Indonesia, you know, living poorly. I remember my sister; she have to have about three different job. She will going uh in the day ta- in the or in the morning. She will wake up early in the morning, and she will go to the market. She will go to the market and then bring vegetable home bring a little bit of food and she will try to sell that she try to make a little bit of profit out of it then after that after she do that one she will doing it again uh, she will come on. you know she will go to the school she will teach him and buy to come here come here come here, come here. by 12 o'clock in the morning uh, by 12 o'clock in the midday she will be half my sleep in the school i know this because uh i used to go into the school where she teach uh so there you have it guys and uh my god the corruption in indonesia is just so fucking bad i mean what can you say about this like nobody care what seems like you know but here we go now the reason why i expose this irma situation because at the moment she is the social justice warriors on the dead of jesua huta barat jesua huta barat was murdered by his uh his college his police well his above him is the general uh by you know execution style in uh in his house in Jakarta so it's happened last uh July and uh is the biggest the biggest uh scandal or drama or whatever the fuck you gonna call it in Indonesia right now the biggest civil uh what do you call that one like you know we wake up at the moment we kind of wake up you know we can sort of like a facing you know face the music while some people like Sambo his name Sambo and his wife and another uh police uh kill this this person and they hiding it real fucking good a uh, real fucking good they organize everything at the moment we are try to release this person the actual person that pull the trigger execution style absolutely that loved by the nation at the moment like i mean like everyone the man like sort of like feed him you know what i mean he's not guilty he just he, yeah motively i think he got motive i think he got something to do with this whole situation my friend told me before from the channel luruskan we think it's something to do with the drugs the drugs money but uh they try to uh change the the motive and like you know because it's pretty sure it's a packing drug things because in Indonesia if you get done with the drugs it's a death sentence so they try to changing the whole you know the whole story to become something else so I will you know I will put a link to this video right on to the future about the situation in Indonesia and I will uh, I'll put a video about it also, you know. So I hope you guys, you know, so I hope you guys can uh, leave me a message, comment, and uh, tell me what you think about it and what you want me to discuss. But it's big things. It's really, really big thing in Indonesia. This is the biggest case in Indonesia on the police corruption. Everyone at the moment going to the street, sort of like fighting for the situation. Why do I... Why do I talk about this at the same time? Talk about Irma. Well, there's uh, something in here called kettle called pot black. <laughs> so, yeah, I will tell in the different subject, a different story later on. But this is the first one about Joshua Huta Barat, the murder of Brigadier Joshua Huta Barat. I hope you guys are uh, having good time, good life, uh, having a uh, you know please share my video i will put some more in english if you guys agree with that and uh, a lot of things about indonesia you want to know 
And now I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story. So here we go. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to your guys' comment. Bye bye.